is my mom's the best mom so celestine's mom can be my mom too for now if i didn't have my mom yes because they would just be nice okay they just would hey guys it's jay and today i'm here with another top five wednesday video top five wednesday was originally created by ginger reads laney and it is now run by sam over at thoughts on tomes so i'll leave both their links down below as well as the goodreads group if you guys are interested in joining us. Today's topic is the top five characters that you want in your family. Honestly, I think I made such a good family, so I am way too excited about this topic. So without further ado, let us get started. The first person who I would want in my family would be Celestine's mother from Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. I would want her as my mom because in this book, the society is basically if you do something wrong or like commit a crime, like lying or stealing or something like that, you get branded as flawed. Basically, you're no longer a perfect citizen and you're shunned from the rest of the society and you have to live by these different rules. One of the rules is that you're not able to aid one of these flawed members of the society so you're supposed to basically outcast them. Celestine's mom sticks by her side and she in her own way stands up for her daughter at all times. She's always supporting her daughter no matter what and I think that having a mom like that who's very supportive is very important in your life. I personally have one. Hi mom, shout out, love you. The next character I'm saying two of them. So like I'm kind of cheating but like they're a package deal so I'm counting it as okay. And they are Will Herondale and Jem from the Clockwork Prince, Princess and Angel. It is the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. Honestly, I would want them as like either older brothers or like cousins. If they're cousins, you don't have to deal with them all the time because it could get annoying and on your nerves. But if they were older brothers, then you'd always have to be in their presence, so it would be like kind of annoying. I would want them in my family because they are just so funny and they would make you laugh so hard all the time and they're also so protective of the, the people they love and also they're kind of badass so like if anything happened you could just call them and be like yo help me and they would help you so I love me some Will and Jim. Next I am going to say that I would want Aunt Jay from Burned by Ellen Hopkins. I think that she is so cool. I would want her as my aunt because she's just such a great role model for Patton and she just knows who she is and what she wants in life and what she believes in and she stands up for herself and I think that it would be really cool to have an aunt like that who you could look up to. So she is my next answer to be in my family. The next character I would want to be in my family would be Henry Welp from Dust City by Robert Paul Weston. This might be weird to you if you've read this book because Henry Welp is actually a wolf right? So I would want him as my older brother because if anybody tried to mess with me I could just be like bro do you know who my brother is? He's literally a wolf and he can kick your butt. So I would back up. I would leave me alone unless you want me to get my big bad wolf brother. Just saying. So I would want him as my older brother just so I could like threaten people with his strength and scariness. But he's like a lovable little puppy so like if people actually knew him they wouldn't be scared of him but we can pretend that he's scary. And my final character, I want in my family so badly as like my older sister who I got to hang out with all the time because like oh my god I would be obsessed with her. And that is Aiko from Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Honestly she is so bubbly and energetic and I just think she would be so much fun to hang out with and like go shopping with and just talk about boys and I just feel like she would be such an awesome older sister. And I just, I need her in my life. Even if she's like not even in my family she can just be like that older cousin who like you hang out with like on occasion and just see each other once in a while but it's like super awesome because they're older than you and just it's just like I love you and I want to be you. That's Aiko for me. But I would rather have be my sister because then I can have her to myself at all times. Alright guys, so that was my top five Wednesday for this week. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!